Saan kaya yung pwedeng mautangan na legit? So, paano nga ba umutang kay Gcash? Let's take a deep dive sa e-wallet na to. everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It's Ate Red here. Pinag-aaralan, pinag-uusapan natin yung iba't ibang mga platforms online kung saan pwede tayong umutang. Siyempre, mas gusto natin mag-focus sa mga legit na mga mauutangan online, guys. So therefore, we should not look further than Gcash. So Gcash is an e-wallet. Hindi po si Gcash yung nagpapautang, pero may mga companies na nagpapautang through Gcash. So pag-usapan natin yung iba't ibang services na to so that you will know how these services can help you. Bago tayo mapunta doon sa mga services na yon or mabigyan ng opportunity na umutang through Gcash, then you have to start with one thing. That is, magkaroon ng Gcash account. So, Gcash is an e-wallet na nadodownload both sa Google Play Store and sa iOS. Para ma-enjoy nyo yung lahat ng services ni Gcash, kailangan nasa 21 years old and above ka kung yung concern mo naman is umutang. Kailangan po yung verify din yung Gcash account mo. Meaning, nag-submit ka kay Gcash Cash ng mga valid government IDs and the list of IDs na tinatanggap ni Gcash are the following. Ayan. All you need is just one kung meron kang ganong mga ID. So, pag na-fully verify na yung account mo, may mga, yung mga transaction limits mo is malilift. Then, you can eventually have access sa mga different utang services niya. And it starts with your G-score. G-score is your trust score or rating used as a basis to determine the various ex activities you do, you, you do on Gcash. Meaning, it measures how often or how much you use Gcash and how credit worthy you are. So, there are ways to increase your G-score and that is to keep money in your wallet. Siguro magtira ka ng at least 100 pesos. At least may pang load ka, no? And then, use Gcash to pay for your bills na recurring using G-Invest. Naglagay lang ako ng pera dun sa G-Invest para lang sa G-score ko. Pero up to now, yung 5,000 ko, 3 years ago, is still 5,000. Tumataas, mababa, but basically, it's still 5,000. Enjoyin mo yung lahat ng features ni Gcash. Use Gcash for insurance. Mag-cash in. Basically, para tumas yung G-score mo, super, super, super gamit na gamit mo talaga si Gcash. Now that we've already talked about your G-score, which is a gateway para ma-unlock mo yung mga pautangan na ino-offer ni Gcash, let's move on to the first loan service na na-unlock sa akin. And that is G-Credit. I started with 2,500 and over 2 years, tumaas siya ng up to 40,000 pesos. Pwede kang magkaroon ng credit limit up or credit line up to 50,000 pesos which is revolving. Meaning, paulit-ulit mo siyang nagagamit for as long as you're in good standing. Para siyang credit card na meron siyang billing statement na, or billing cycle na sinusunod. G-Credit is not designed to be converted to cash but a lot of us find a workaround such as a cash in sa mga mga digital banks but G credit is for convenience so nagagamit siya sa pagbayad ng bills online as well as buying goods sa mga offline merchants sa text or email inviting you to activate G credit magko-confirm ka ng email address para review niya sa yung information these are the same information na binigay mo na kay Gcash when you verified your account ipa-confirm niya lang na updated pa Ganun pa ba? Tama pa ba yun? Just make sure na walang mga typo, walang mga maling-maling information doon sa sinamit mo and then go ahead and submit. Madali lang yung pag-approve. Walang issue yung account mo, kaagad naman siyang na-activate. So, nasa 5%, meron din iba na nasa 7% yung interest. But that is still way better than mga loan apps na tag-15% yung interest plus may kinakaltas pa or may ina-add pang service fee. Let's also talk about G-Loan. Get cash up to 125,000 pesos. Of course, the interest compared with other loan apps is considerably, considerably low but depende sa kay G-Cash kung magkano yung i-offer niya sa'yo. You will be notified through the app or via text or via email kung meron kang offer ng G-Loan or you can go to borrow and then makikita mo na si G-Loan walang circle. Ayan. Kung pwede kang mag G-Loan. Easy interest lang because you can enjoy interest of as low as 1.59 every month 
or as high as 4% or 5%. Uh -huh. Pero depende po kasi yan sa credit history mo. At sa G-score mo kung magkano interest yung i-offer niya sa'yo. Easy approval kasi everything will be done through the app. Pero mas maganda, mas madali kang ma-approve if meron kang offer. So, zero additional documents needed because verify na yung GCash mo. And usually, whatever information na andun na sa GCash, yun na rin yung kakailanganin para magkaroon ka ng G-loan. At nakakainis kasi parang... Ewan ko guys, ayaw niya ni Gcash mag-offer ng G-Loan sa akin, kaya nakakasad to. Ano gamitin yung G-Loan? Siyempre, punta ka ng borrow and then you click on G-Loan. Basta yung G-Loan mo, walang dot. Pero depende yan sa kung anong choices na ibibigay sa'yo. And you'll need to put the purpose of your loan. At bago mo i-confirm yung loan, you will be given the chance to review yung mga loan terms or yung loan summary. As you can see, depende rin kay system kung magkano yung interest na ibibigay niya sa'yo. And then yung duration. At kung sure na sure ka na, then you can click continue. Okay. Hindi siya buong matatanggap dahil meron po siyang service fee. But it's very minimal if you're going to compare it with other loan apps. So, okay na rin siya somehow. Unlike G-Credit, which is powered by CIMB, yung G-Loan naman is powered by or provided by Fuse Lending. Siyempre, magko-confirm ka kasi hindi naman to auto-reload na basta na lang napapadalhan ka sa GCash. No? Pag successful, usually mga less than 5 minutes, makukuha mo naman yung pera. And then, just follow your schedule in terms of payment. Advice ako ng bayad dito kay G-Loan at hindi na ako pinaulit. So, I think with G-Loan, it's better to just follow your schedule. And now, let's talk about G-Give. So, ito naman si G-Give para siyang home credit na it's not designed para makonvert to cash. Although, some of you use GPO para makonvert sa to cash or other means. If G-Give is accepted as a payment method, then lalabas po siya automatic. Itong si G-Give, pwede kang mag-installment nito sa pagbayad but depende naman siya sa kada account kasi sasabihin niya sa iyo kung magkano yung minimum payment mo para ma-activate si G-Gives for that transaction. Check niyo na lang yung dashboard niyo bago kayo mag-proceed with your transaction if you intend to use G-Gives kasi andun po kasi sasabihin niya kung ganito yung credit limit mo dapat yung minimum na payment mo is dapat 2,000, 4,000 yung ganun. Kasi kung hindi ka umaabot sa minimum, hindi po lalabas si G-Give. Of course, the longer the term, the higher the amount na mapupunta sa interest. Pero nagiging magaan siya dahil installment po yung pagbabayad. So again guys, G-Gives is not designed para i-convert to cash even if there is a workaround but it is a risky process na baka sablay tayo or magkaproblema lang tayo. After all, pwede mo naman gamitin si G-Gives to buy stuff, to pay for services, at nagiging magaan siya dahil yun nga, huli ko installment, credit limit na ibibigay sa iyo ni G-Gives will still depend on your credit score. Yung ayaw ko kay G-Gives is pa iba iba yung credit limit. Para mabibigla ka na lang na nawawala, bumababa, at bigla na lang siyang tataas. So, it's very moody, guys. But rest assured, pwede mo siyang lapitan for, you know, utang stuff kung meron kang offer because mababa yung interest niya compared sa mga fly-by-night na mga loan apps na nasa Google Play Store. Again, dapat pinag-i-aaralan at iniintindi po yung mga loan terms and agreement bago tayo gumamit ng mga services na to because um, it can affect our credit history. So, I hope guys, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Of course, I've already made separate videos about these services. Feel free to check them out. The links are in the description box below. And hindi ko naman sinasabi na umutang kayo kung meron kayong offer. Yung importante dito, yung aking sinistress, is to understand these loan services bago tayo umutang. Because we need to be responsible borrowers. Otherwise, tayo din yung magsasuffer. So, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I will see you on my next video.